Hi. Well, I've got the Colt uh, Lawman Mark III 357 Magnum out here. Eh, have a little fun with it today. Thought I'd get a few shots on camera. I'll start off with some 38s here and then we'll put some 357s in it. Okay, now I got her loaded up with some uh, 357s, and these are pretty hot loaded 357s. Like I said, them are uh, pretty hot loads there. Get the camera turned around here and we'll uh, try a side view of it with a mixture of ammo so you can see the difference in the recoil. Okay, I got her loaded up here with a mixture of ammunition. Uh, first three rounds will be 38 special. And the uh, last three will be uh, 357 Magnum. And I managed to miss the last two. <laughs> the Colt Lawman Mark III is essentially just uh, the Trooper Mark III with fixed sights. Other than that, they're very similar. And of course, the, the Trooper uh, Mark III has a shrouded ejector rod, while the Lawman doesn't. But it's built on the same frame. Like I said, essentially the same gun except for just uh, the ejector rod shroud and, uh, and the fixed sights. This particular one's in nickel. And of course they were, uh, probably uh, the vast majority of them were blue. They were made with both a 2 inch and a 4 inch barrel. And I believe these were only made in 357 Magnum while the Trooper was made in uh, 357 and 38 and uh, 22 long rifle and 22 magnum. And this is one of the later ones that have the beveled grips instead of the square grips. And if I remember right, I think this one was made in 1977. And I thought I'd give you a quick look at it, close up look at it uh, before I went and uh, put it away. See if we can get all these markings to show up here. Of course you got your little Colt, Colt pony there. It's real nice shape for its age. It's been well taken care of over the years. I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's uh, for uh, None Too Happy. Now he's uh, a pretty new YouTube channel. Just uh, getting started out. But he is an excellent cameraman. Matter of fact, he's even done some camera work for some low budget uh, movie companies. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. If you get a little free time, go check him out. I think you'll be impressed. Thanks for watching.